You will go before me. You will never leave me. The thing that sparks us and causes us to release the energy and the power in us is prayer. And Bible says in James 5, that verse 16, that confess your faults one to another and pray one for another. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. When you read other versions, it will tell you something. Look at the NLT. Say, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. Then he says that the earnest prayer of a righteous person has great power and produces wonderful results. How many want to see good results in your life? Yeah. So this year, give your, your life to prayer. Give yourself to prayer. And you will produce amazing results. Amen. Another thing about prayer is that prayer releases captives. When Peter was arrested by Herod. Before that, he had arrested James. He had killed him. Then, he took Peter also. And the reason why he took Peter was to kill him. Amen. So, in your life, there are many evil targeted to kill you. Do you understand? And sometimes when it captures you, it's just a matter of time. You'll be gone. But one of the things that releases us from the captives, from the captivity of the evil one, is prayer. When Peter was kept in prison, Bible says that the disciples, they were in the room praying for Peter. And through their prayer, Peter was released from the prison. So prayer has the ability to release captives to deliver you from the bondage of the enemy from demonic influence you will go